just a fuck up no matter what. Let's go back and see what happens when I say yes. There we are making pancakes. I love Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever. She's not even gonna put up a fight. She's like, all right, I'm in. Let's do it. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Jesus Christ. What do we do? What do we do? This isn't the choice I thought we'd get to make. I thought we were going to be able to go back and redecide whether we wanted William to live or not. Not to fucking kill off Chloe. Yeah, time for Resident Evil 7. <laughs> I mean, oh. How do you decide this for someone, right? I mean, on one hand, it's, it's very selfish. Everyone's here fighting for you. Your mom, your dad, your friends. And you just want to say, fuck it. But on the other hand... Like, you're in a lot of pain. You're gonna die eventually anyway. And you're just a drain on your family. Financially and emotionally. I don't know guys, what should I do? I could see it from- I could see it from both ways. We still got time, we can go back. <sighs> We're all gonna die eventually. It's getting deep. Plus, she is an adult, all right? Let's let's put that fact out there. And this is her wish, right? In some countries, there's assisted suicide, right? But am I gonna go to jail because I gave her too much morphine? Is that gonna be a thing? Plus, why do I get to decide? Ugh! Why do I get to decide and not her parents? Her parents should be the ultimate deciders, right? Not her shitty best friend that hasn't been around for five years and just shows up to kill her. <laughs> we can't kill her. It's not my job, not my decision.
Maybe she only invited me here to use me. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I know. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally. But it's not my choice. Like, I understand her parents said no. I get that. I get it. Wholeheartedly. But well, it's not my decision. Why should it be my decision alone? Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> Did, did you even read the option? Uh, yes, I did. Oh. It was her choice. I can't do it. I can't. can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. <sighs> right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me That's like everybody such else. That's bullshit. She always out. does this to me. You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. What? A shitbag. She's been a shitbag ever since I've known her. Now what? I'm sorry, William. Oh, we're going back. We're getting rid of William. Sorry, William. You gots to go. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jeez, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Damn. <laughs> Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. 
And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh. That's really sad. all of this did I fuck it up again Chloe you're back whoa whoa down Max you get one kiss now you're all over me I'm Damn just right. I'm just I'm so glad you're here you sound high but thanks for the morning grope since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. Well, you know, just a I'm little just bit. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Well, for now, things are back to normal. Whatever that means. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. I don't even want to use my power anymore as off. is. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm going to cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. Yeah. Still sick of your shit. I Chloe. can't abuse this level of my rewind power. You and your fucking attitude. It's way too dangerous, and that snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. It's amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Maybe 
become the best detectives in the world. We still need to be back in this timeline though, so we can fuck up Nathan Staying and up Victoria. Is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. And we get a gun. We shouldn't be smoking. Oh, yes, bad for you. Chloe Price was here. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I mean, the only other option was killing Chloe. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Oh no. Oh, that blue bird again. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Chirp, chirp. Scare. Why am I gonna scare it? I'm not gonna scare it. I'm gonna scare it. Let's get the window first. I can be on your way, little birdie. Where'd you go? Is there another one in here? Fly, be free. Bird's only been in there for like 80 weeks. 10 years later. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. I mean, you snoop everywhere else. Might as well just go walk in on him. Who cares what he's up to? Yep, locked from the other side. Oh, Warren. Let's see. Oh God. Uh, B fucking minus? I got a B minus on my coming test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch. Or <laughs> the wounded. The B minus that burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes. My folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend's Chloe text me uh, that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe, or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. Dude, Warren is such a player. He's trying to get a... He's trying to get a threesome going. Joyce really Gotta wants respect David it. and Chloe to be a family. I accept your offer of dinner and a movie. Maybe Chloe would like to come along. I'll call you later. Joyce. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality, but I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Of course she would have fucking hated me. She blames me for fucking everything. Almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. I feel like moving time is a lot of fucking control. I mean, it is, but... It isn't at the same time. I don't know if you ever seen the movie The Butterfly Effect, but it's definitely one of those things. Like the more you interfere, the more well, you never finished painting that wall. You just potentially fuck things up. David even made sure to bag up the dead birds.
after a while of trying to change everything, you finally start to realize that maybe things the way they were weren't so bad after all. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Well, uh, Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast. The town that time forgot is since the beginning of this week is the literal eye of an environmental storm. Starting with a freak snor snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half dozen beach whales. Arc Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered an actual theory or even reason for the atmospheric havoc. Well, I mean, to be fair, right, if, if an eclipse happened, it didn't just happen in Arcadia Bay, right? So, I mean, is it really related? Oh. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Yeah, he's gonna love you snooping. But we're gonna talk to him last, of course. I wonder if David is going to the party. Hey, Max. What the hell did David do for Nathan? Thank you for and your help with Nathan. what did his dad Nathan? do for David? It is appreciated best. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Oh, yeah? Is that all you got? Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. man cave so no girls allowed <laughs> all right dude why don't you Whoa, settle down that there that is a serious padlock on that locker hey david what you hiding porn that's what i would hide in there surveillance cameras at pan estates david must be working for the prescotts too I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. As per our discussions about the new campus surveillance, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate the new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Howdy, Andy. Just wanted to let you know that Chloe was actually with me the other night and not at Blackwell. I almost wish she had been because I caught her with more weed, so I had to put the fear of God and country into her, not to mention the threat of kicking her ass out of the house. These kids are so goddamn entitled, as you know. Just wanted to let you know so uh let you know so Chloe's mother doesn't think her daughter was breaking into an old alma mater. Chloe's allergic to school now. Thanks and let's uh get together for two wheels breakfast, my treat. I mean... Hey, Missy, you do know I can see you snooping around. Yep. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Still as charming as ever. David out of his cave. <sighs> uh, brain melting. I thought I could talk to you, David. Maybe I didn't go back far enough. Just keep going. going all the way back. I thought I could talk to him before. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for keys to the kingdom or at least david's locker that's how 
Take the check. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Six course couples dinner with endless wine. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Alright, so how do I get them out of here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Uh, hello, David. There's a fire! Fire! Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Yeah, you know. Got your back, homie. Let's see if we can talk to him now after you said that. I guess maybe I just did see the keys. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Oh my god. Somebody fix the fuse! Whoa, everyone's so angry. Gotcha. Hey, you know what? You don't even have to look at that. I got you. Keys are gone, bitch. I am the key master. All right, let's look at all the porn. See, there's a shoe box and... Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Twin Peaks. Oh, we got that on camera too. It's quite the photography here as well. Score. Back to Chloe now. Gotta go, David. Have a nice day. <laughs> I give up William, but defend David. Yeah. Would Chloe hate oh me gosh. if she knew? You're a shitty human being. Why can't I go up the stairs? Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Good. I wanted to go see Kate anyway. It probably is a reference to Twin Peaks. There's all sorts of references throughout this game. All throughout. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm sorry. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Yeah. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. Maybe you'll start to get the stick out I'm of sorry. your ass. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> but don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Damn right we are. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm gonna nipple him right off. <laughs> She already looks a lot better. Max! Oh, Kate. 
Hey, girlfriend. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. Oh, they're... I love your illustrations. They're fantastic. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she mm, was yeah, being real. Sure. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. Victoria's a bitch. I just she doesn't mean anything. pray I can get this drawing right. <sighs> Let's take a look at our finger paintings oh, here. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Miss my banana. Jess, this cat right here. I hope you're still lurking. This is how I picture you when you're watching my stream every night. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. <laughs> Alright, not too much shit to look at in here. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. It wasn't even the sisters that saved her, it was her dad and me talking about her father. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you... I don't want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Still don't trust her. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. This one? I'm not sure that's a cat. I'm not even sure it's still alive, Sticky. <laughs> But if you want to be the dead one, that's fine. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, <laughs> so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Alright, Kate. Kate. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Do. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But yeah, I do we'll believe nice in way. forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either, when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, it was not a proud moment. Paint. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Uh... <laughs> She's a bitch. 
I'm sorry, but she's wealthy, pretty, and ah, okay, yes, talented. Good, so Thanks for stopping there's by. no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Sure I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Wait, Alice your I'll bunny? see her soon. No, 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 no. It's my bunny now, bitch. No, 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 no. You snooze, you lose. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Well, he still has a job, so that's a start. Samuel's going to be getting him some. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird, just... Being on campus, like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely mm, be there. At least it doesn't sound Me like too. he's going to hold a grudge I'll against us. State. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. <laughs> Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. 
All right, Snooky. Well, I appreciate you hanging out tonight. Hopefully, you're able to get some good rest tonight. Hey, Daniel, you look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Oh, look at that shirt. Oh. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Have you talked to anybody to about there. what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't <laughs> fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Justin? It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. And is she into him though. So I hear. No. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. Mom. I'm working on it. Right. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. She is probably high. What's up, Zach? Zach attack. It's so ironic that Warren asked Max to. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Malia. I'm here oh, as and usual. You saw that T-shirt too. By the way, <sighs> thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Oh, okay, don't be Brooke, jealous, uh, bitch. But right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you. Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? No. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. It's so ironic that Warren asked- Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. I need to find Nathan. Ask Warren. Okay. See if I got a new talking Warren's point. not good enough. I guess not. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna ask you what's your drone. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Cause I know you're not gonna let me fly it. <laughs>